Hello guys, Zanja here and in this video I am going to show you how to install multi-rom on the Redmi One S and this video is currently being recorded on the OnePlus 2 and even the audio is being recorded on OnePlus 2 so that's why the, the audio might not be that good and all the files that I will be using in this video will be linked in the description box below and all the applications that I will be using will be linked in the description box below too and in order to install the multi-rom recovery or to install multi-rom you need to have CyanogenMod 12.1 installed on your device as of now you cannot do it with MIUI 6 or MIUI 5, MIUI 7 any version of MIUI cannot be installed in multi-rom so do take care of that and after you have CyanogenMod 12.1 installed go into Flashify application I personally use Flashify application allow the permissions and after that select recovery image select choose a file and then go into file manager and pick up the file from wherever you have put it for me it's over here twrp multi rom dot image so as you can see select this image select yup and it will flash the recovery so now select reboot now so as you can see we have booted into the twrp recovery and as you can see this is the multi rom twrp so that means we are on correct twrp file now go into install once again and now go into the folder where you have put the multi rom armani zip so select that zip and just swipe to confirm flash this will flash the multi rom option and it will be shown into the twrp recovery as you can see if we go into advanced you will see a new option that is multi rom and in case if you do not flash this uh, multi rom installer zip then you will not see multi rom option and you won't be able to use it and now we have installed the multi rom recovery and the multi rom zip now we need to enable the device or the Cyanogen Mod 12.1 to boot into multiple ROMs and for that we need to have KXEC hard patched kernel and that is released for CM 12.1 and I am using that kernel as of now so as you can see this is KXEC patched kernel I will give the link of this also in the description box below simply flash this kernel and after flashing this kernel we will be able to boot multiple ROMs so let's go back uh, and let's go into advanced go into multi ROM and now you can add a different ROM, list ROM. Currently we do not have any ROM, we just have the primary ROM so there are there is nothing in the list ROMs. Now to install a ROM, go into add ROM. So now select Android, select internal memory, then hit the next button. Then as we have zip file, uh, in this case we are going to install a zip file of the ROM so that's why we have to select zip file. If you have any other backup that you have made earlier in PWRP recovery then you can select that backup as a secondary ROM also. So if you want to select that, you can select that. For as of now, I want to select the zip file. So now select any ROM which you want to install. Uh, in this case, the ROM is over here. So let's install Mocky ROM. So just swipe to confirm flash. And now Mocky ROM will be installed as a secondary ROM and our CM 12.1 which we had earlier will remain as the primary ROM. So as you can see, the ROM installation is successful. And now if we go into multi rom once again you can go into multi rom by going into advanced then go into multi rom and if we select list roms now you will see mocky rom as one rom that we have installed just now so select this and now if you want to install gaps package or gaps package then go into flash zip and now select the gaps package that you want to install so select the gaps package that i have right now and it is saying using ROM Mocky 5.1.1 Armani so that is how you can come to know uh, on which ROM you are flashing the gaps package or the update of the ROM so you, if you want to flash any of the update that, that will come in the future for the Mocky ROM then still go into flash zip uh, here flash zip and select the update zip package that you want to install and just install it it is as easy as that and there are many different options on multi rom and i have already made a video about that i'll give the link of that in the description box below i have made that with the one plus one but all the options are exactly same with the multi rom uh, in which i have explained in detail so now let's go into settings and now as you can see over here we can configure the auto boot so as you can see internal is the primary rom which is selected over here you can change if you want to change the rom like if i want the cm12 nightly to be my primary rom then i can simply select that and CM12 Nightly will be my primary ROM now and whenever I'll reboot the phone it will boot into CM12 so that's a really good thing you can change that from here only and you can configure time delay which takes like 5 seconds is the time delay which is present as of now you, if you want to increase that you can increase that or decrease that 
and if you want to reboot in the system just going to reboot and it's team and now we'll see mi logo and after this we'll see one of the interesting thing that i would like to see so as you can see these are the two roms that we have installed right now but if you install many roms like if you install five roms then all the roms will be listed over here and if you want to boot into this rom then just double tap on that rom and it will boot into that if you want to boot into internal rom then just double tap on that rom and you can boot into that rom and if we go into external then you will be able to use usb otg functionality also and in multi rom you can install a rom on usb otg also and that's a very good thing and in mist you have different things like you can reboot to recovery reboot to bootloader or you can change the colors too so yeah as you can see we are currently booting into mocky open source so huge thanks to the developer for developing such an awesome recovery and such an awesome feature for the redmi one s and huge thanks to the strix and my friend gunik to uh, let me know about these things and everything like that so yeah this is it for this video guys thank you for watching don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and uh, i have already made many more videos on the redmi one s and i'll give the link of those in the description box below so don't forget to check that out and if you haven't already subscribed then do hit the subscribe button because yeah we uh, many more videos on redmi one s are going to come real soon so thank you guys thank you for watching